excitement. It's a fan favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the 1v2, and this player has had a lot of talk around him. We just saw him in the breakdown team of the week. We are excited to pick the brain of Eli Standy. God, I love that graphic. Sure. It's great. And we will there be... There he is. He's Danny Phantom. <laughs> Got to catch him all because he's Danny Phantom. He will be joined by Standy in just a moment. We got to get him in. We look good, though. Yes, we I are. I mean, we're looking nice. And I love how the set changes. I mean, it just... It's an absolute pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure, Zen. Where is Standy? We want him. I blame him. I'm here. There Wait, he we is. We hear him. There he is. Wait, you can't see me? No, we, we can't, can't see, see you. You're right like now. John Cena. We can't see you. Can't see me. But but we hear you. They're looking at these faces, man. Pretty faces. I see myself in yours. I'm not sure, but yeah. One sec. They're probably just putting you in. Yeah, they're it. they're probably working on it right now. But um, Eli, excited to have you, Danny Phantom. We can't see you right now, but you're with us, and uh, we appreciate you hopping on, man. Yeah. So let's start the let's just start the interview while we, I mean. They can hear his voice, I'm assuming. So let's start the interview. Uh, Eli, again, congratulations on landing a spot on Vegas. Um, it would have been an absolute shame for you to not be in the league uh, after what you've been doing and, and how you've been. So let me just start off my questions with this. How has your new team been different from Ultra? And do you feel more comfortable on the map with this team? Because it looks like you've been a lot more comfortable in your role with the Vegas Legion. Um. Yeah, so... The team vibes are definitely a little bit different compared to uh, compared to Ultra. You know, it's just different people. Like there's three Europeans on the other team or two Europeans on the other team, so it's definitely a different vibe. And yeah, I mean, so far with the team, I feel like there they is. have a lot of trust in me. They have a lot of trust in me, and they give me a lot of like uh, the like the potential to roam when I want to roam, and just like kind of believe in me when I'm in the situations where I get to fry. But obviously, like me and TJ have a good balance, and like. For me as a sub duo, I feel like I really like having a sub duo that kind of like that bounces off me, where it's like if it's my turn to rotate, I rotate. If uh, it's his turn to get hill, he gets hill. More of like just a consistent system kind of play style. I feel like I thrive like more as an SMG when my duo is like that. And I mean overall, I mean it's fun like playing with Clay and Don. I mean Don's an animal, dude. Clay's an animal. I mean he just teach, but. I mean, it's, it's a different <laughs> environment. It's fun, though. I mean, Tej has been going insane. And, I, I mean, you touched on it a little bit. I do want to talk about the, the dynamic between you and TJ because when you first joined this roster, uh, it was my opinion, and we kind of shared the opinion, that you and Tej do complement each other very well. You're more of like the roaming SMG slayer. TJ um, has been a little inconsistent in respawn. He goes crazy this past weekend, so... I think it's it's no coincidence that you two teaming up and, and playing together has kind of helped both of you guys excel. So talk to me. What's different? Obviously, Kleenex is insane, but I do feel like watching you guys play together, the way you and TJ bounce off one another is night and day different compared to the way you and Kleenex play together. Yeah, I think TJ is just really fast, and he, like, he takes initiative a lot. Like, he'll just go. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he needs to go, like, he just goes with no he no care in the world. And I feel like it definitely helps, like, initiate a lot more of the plays on the map. And especially me, like, I can get in a lot more, like, early rotational spots on the map and kind of, like, help, like, chain hills more on the map while, like, TJ can, like, obviously be more of a frontline man when we need him to be, like, a frontline man. Because, I mean, I obviously can do whatever I need, but I feel like... Uh, the more I play with these guys, they just kind of understand my play style and how I like to play on the map, and they're definitely, like, playing off me while also, like, fitting me into the system. Yeah. Now, Tej, it seems like you guys really work together because I feel like Tej is a little bit more selfless, and he kind of just throws his body out a lot. Sometimes and, too selfless. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, too, sometimes too I, selfless. And I feel like that complements you because you're obviously, like, a roaming slayer, like you said, and it just, it just allows you to be more free on the map. But... People might not know this, that you grew up 10 minutes from where I did. Tell the people a little bit about your yeah. path to pro and, I mean, a little bit about us. I mean, we, we grew up very, very yeah. close together, and the, the Pennsylvania boys, it's good to see one of them still holding it down out there. So tell them about your story a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'll just start. Uh, the high school I went to <clears throat> was actually is a Cess uh, rival high school, so like our high school teams would always like battle it out. 
and stuff. And I think like one of my friends used to always tell me like, yo, my dad used to teach skump and all this stuff. <laughs> and he'd always tell me, I'm like, yo, that's sick. So then like a bunch of my friends like think it's crazy that like how we were playing against each other at one point. But so that's super cool. We live super close, like 717 area. Um, yes, sir. That's awesome. PA repping. That'll teach too. Um, yep. I don't, well. I don't know what's in the water in PA, but I think based on you two, it makes people fucking dumb. You think so? Yeah. I don't know what they um, We yeah. did see Standy double against the 12 in Blackjack, Bruh. which was nuts. That was insane. That. that was insane. <laughs> I got money on that. But yeah, I, I think it's crazy because like, it's just a small world. Like Maven went to my high school. You grew up ten minutes away. I think it's just crazy how gaming kind of brought everyone together, and and now to see you flourishing. I mean, it's just dope. It, it really is. It's cool to see yeah. you know people close from home doing their thing. And then yeah. I guess like challengers. Like I mean, I just started in challengers. I played S and I was a really good like S and D player coming up when I was like fifteen to seventeen. And then in challengers, I kind of started on like a top 16, top 32 team, and I just kind of kept like elevating my game and just kind of joining like that next best team. And like NMW, you probably remember Seth. Like I used to always scream you guys when I was on like with Fellow and Royalty and all those guys. Yeah, and you were so. Uh, yeah, they definitely like like Felony, Royalty, Naga. Like those guys definitely helped like elevate me to like the top level. So. Hell yeah. Eli, talk to me about how practice has been going in comparison to Ultra. Um, because right now, you and you guys mm -hmm. and Rocker are kind of neck and neck, and you guys are sort of racing for that top eight. Explain to me what that uh, practice dynamic is like, uh, what is like. You have Theory as your coach. You're playing with some pretty big personalities, pretty some outspoken personalities, and Don and Clay and, and Tej too. So uh, just let us know how practice is going. Um, practice has been good. I think like the most important thing was like having a good first Boston match. But I feel like that match definitely like made everyone like have more of a belief in each other. Like th doing good that match made everyone believe in each other and practice has been going good. I just think it's more so like everyone needs to believe in, believe in each other and then realize that like this is the exact moment where like we control our destinies. Like we have to go, like we can't wake up and just do good. You know what I'm saying? Like we can't just have a good day of practice. Like we're behind like we need to be godlike like we need to wake up every day go hard watch a lot of vods so like we're not even even with these other teams like we have to actually like set ourselves apart especially with like this race and comeback we're trying to have so i mean i just been going really hard and uh making sure that uh like i'm really hard on like all my teammates to make sure like we watch vod and just get on the same page because sure practice has been good we've been going hard but i still feel like we can definitely take it a little bit more than that next level and I mean, the whole goal is just get everyone on board, get the belief going and just keep finding like the exact system. So I feel like there's still a lot of, a lot of stuff we can like hammer down on. Yeah. But either way, we've been going really hard. And Clay gave you props as well for trying to get everyone together and, and make sure you guys are all on the same page. So it's just great to see, you know, with everything that's been being said and, and you're just turning around and shutting everybody the hell up and you're getting props from Clayster, which goes a huge way in this community. Obviously he's a, a vet, been around done his thing for a long time so keep it up uh, i don't want to keep you for too long so we'll ask you one more question uh are you excited for the match against toronto you guys two play more questions april 14th is the match uh are you going to be coming different in that one eli um yeah i mean i'm hoping for all the matches i'm going to be trying to come different so i mean i'm just taking that match like it's just any other match uh, i'm going to be going just as hard as i would in any other match um, and yeah, I mean, I'm excited for all my matches. Listen, so, I mean, okay, hold on. It. Let's throw this PR out the window. It's no secret that Ultra did not hold <laughs> back in their documentary series. They had a lot to say about you, and there was a lot of talk and sort of scrutiny around your name and people calling you a selfish player, them making some statements that they felt like you were holding them back. Let us know what that experience was actually like because we have their raw thoughts. And if you would, we'd love to hear a little from you about how you feel about how that whole thing unfolded. Um, at first, I definitely thought it was a little weird. Because it was like their whole kind of like documentary was kind of just like bashing me. So I just kind of thought it was a little weird. I mean, and to be honest, I, I just feel like me as a person, like I just try to keep shit real. And I mean, I'm sure if you ask a lot of my past teammates or like people I know, I feel like they're only, they only have good shit to say about me. Like, I feel like I only wake up, go hard in practice, 
try to be the best me every day. And I mean, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Fair answer. We yeah. appreciate uh we appreciate you coming on, man, and I think it's impressive how you've blocked out that noise because we were talking about how I feel like this this new team is sort of like a statement team for you because with a lot of negative talk around you, if you were to come in and underperform, um, it could it could have essentially hurt the longevity of your career, but you come out, you keep your foot on the gas, and you play lights out, and now you uh, you have a serious a serious foot in this champs race. So we're we're happy for you, excited to have you on, and we appreciate your time, brother. Yeah, thanks so much for stopping yet. by. I ain't done yet. I like that. I like and that. Keep yet, it up, brother. kid. I like that. You've looking been forward to watching fine. you. Uh, again, yeah, thank you so much for joining us on the show, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you uh, keep competing with the Las Vegas Legion. Guys. Have a great show. Yep. Peace, Appreciate brother. It, buddy. Peace. Standy, I mean, what a guy. The yeah. guy, it's it's not easy, and, and we give him a lot of credit because it's really not an easy thing to block out that noise. Whenever it's mounting and everyone in the community seems to have something to say about you, even your past teammates, for him to come out and have a breakout series against a team like Boston, that's why we give him so much props because it's not easy to have that mental fortitude in this day and age with, with you know social media and all that. Sometimes it can be hard to block out that noise, and he does a great job at it. Especially given his team, man. I mean, you have some outspoken players like Clay and Donnie who will not hesitate to let you know if you're fucking up or if you're not bringing a certain energy or, or making the right plays. And um, I, can, I, I don't have enough to say about him because I personally was also sort of doubting this. this I, w- I wasn't doubting the Vegas move. I was doubting Stanley's ability after what Toronto was saying, and he proved sort of me wrong and a lot of others wrong. So yeah, happy for him and excited to keep him, keep watching him play. 